well, drugs. listen, eminent domain, man. <laughs> this bitch is vanilla. Ours. It's vanilla. I heard. I don't need the vanilla. Vanilla isn't the greatest for those pecker nats or whatever. That's what the, the game warden calls them is pecker nats. Yeah, they are. Don't you, look at me nats. like that. You mean oh. the nats? See them, buffalo that, nats. Like when you're at the ball game or They're you're at your all parish of them, and, you okay. know? Pecker nats. That's what I call them too. So, no see yeah. All that. Instead of using vanilla or buggins or anything, the game warden, I, what's his name? Glenn, Glenn Sanders. Sanders. Good dude. Um, He suggested detol. Just coasters, please. Isn't that deet? Yeah. No, but not deet. So Two it's, coasters right there. I'm going to say <laughs> I want no, but it's a British, some kind of British brand. Uh, it's an antiseptic, and you can only get it on eBay. Hmm. He said, "I'm, you know, from not, Britain." From Britain, he's like, "I'm yeah. not. I'm not trying to." I heard lavender works really well too. I like bu- oh. I, Buggins. is fine. I use Buggins. It's great. I have no problems. With I, I got these stickers from China that I've been putting on my kids. <laughs> they gotta be healthy. On your kids? <laughs> they're like, yeah. They're okay. Like, they're like little smiley face stickers. I think you can yeah. get them from the states they now, but totally, I've had them for a year. They yeah. blend into their DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're taking it's all their taking information. Taking all of their DNA for You're sure. Such a good but mom. they're not getting bug bites. You're so... such a good mom. Oh my gosh, no. that's. But awesome. see, that is a true story. So, story. This. <laughs> I got them from you last year from yeah. Blues. So and like, they work really, really they, well. But they don't work for me. Uh, nothing works for me. That's because you're just so sweet. China, the China DNA. You, the China, you can fight off that. Your DNA fights off the Chinese. I guess. I don't know. Nice. That's very good. I figure if anybody's could, it would be Brit. <laughs> like. If a black cat crosses your path, what do you do? I take it home. <laughs> 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 and that's the guy's honest truth. I mean, yeah. We, we just found my kids actually my kids friends just found two kittens uh at across the street at the school and brought them home and now we're two kittens richer their names are trump and desantis their names are luna and daisy and i did not pick those but i figure each one of our girls has a cat and they're the cutest little things and i love them dearly but um i'm just gonna roll right into it i think those cats I think those two cats were dropped, which is unfortunate. They were mm-hmm. like abandoned, oh, not oh, dropped I on their you, head, I, not dropped on their head, Brittany. Although that could they don't land on be. their heads, they land on their feet. You sometimes, can drop them. yeah, you sometimes. Drop them like ten stories dropped. up. They kittens land on their feet. Are still learning, but I think they were, um, yeah, I think they were abandoned out there because when the girls were running, they were running after them. So normally that doesn't say farm cat or feral, right? But I will say, I have seen an uptick out that direction of feral cats. And I know that feral cats have been an issue, um, you know, elsewhere in Quincy, because when I was running for alderman, I had quite a few people call me and make that the issue that that was the hill they were dying on. And it, since it didn't really affect me, I did say, you know, I am a fan of the, what is it like catch, fix catch and, and release. release. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, however, that's very hard and very time intensive. So, you know, how do you avoid it in the, in the, uh, how do you, you know, instead of being reactive to it, how do we be a little more proactive? I don't know how you would do that elsewhere who are, they're already experiencing the problem, but out where we are, the thing that I've noticed that's creating the uptick is um, like longer grass, which is bringing mice, mm-hmm. which is bringing snakes, which is bringing other rodents that cats are then attracted to because they eat that stuff. Um, and I'm not saying that's the only cause to this problem, I but. can't wait till your new cats bring home those little presents for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll just call you to come get them. But I think this, this the the grass thing brings up a, a really important thing and I'm waiting to hear back from my neighbor. He came to my door the other day and said, in 2020, I took this issue of um, the city of Quincy owns this easement behind us on, on Harrison and they've just decided they're not gonna mow it. Okay, they're not gonna take care of it. So then here comes the snakes and the mice and the rodents, and then here come the cats, and then here comes Circle two kittens for the Conrads, life. right? So uh, the question of ordinances comes comes to mind. Um, we've also now, I've also now heard tell that the city has also decided not to mow um, the, I don't know what it's called. It's like the boulevard mm-hmm. in between the street right. and the actual yard. Um, from 36th Street to Demon School because it butts up to a farmer's yard. Now, I don't know if this is hearsay. I don't know what's, you know, I will say this. There are two ways to fix that problem, but it has to be fixed. And if the city owns it, 
then they need to take care of it, right? Your homeowner's association was good as my homeowner's association to be taken care of. See, well, it should be taken care of, but not by neighbors because we don't own that land. No, that's true. And if the farmer, if the reason that the farmer is held responsible is because it butts up to his land, then that's between the city and the farmer, not the neighbors. So the city should have to go mow it as they do abandoned properties, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. That's what the, that's the ordinance is yeah. that if grass gets over a certain amount, a certain length, I think it's six inches, then the city's <laughs> responsible to go take care of that and then bill back that. That does not happen though. It doesn't. I mean, look at the hotel right across from the Oakland Center, the Eagle's Nest. And I know oh, like yeah. anytime. What's I, going on with that place? I mean, anytime the grass is taller than I am and there, there's a street there where, you know, you're trying to get out on the highway and yeah. you can't see anything. Danger. So I'm just saying like, it, it is supposed to happen, it but is. it doesn't. Well, but I guess that, okay. So do we just call our alderman? Because I think our alderman has been contacted quite a few times. And finally, my neighbor had to go to a city council meeting to bring it up. Well, that's a little ridiculous. But he went to with yourself to um, a city council meeting. But too. your new alderman is is listening and taking Glenn Ebbing. Well, right? we he's, we he's don't listening. know how to get a hold of him outside of the the city website has not been updated with the new alderman. <laughs> Inf contact information and this is, isn't just a shit on this quincy city council i'm just saying like what are the ordinances what is being upheld what is changing who do we contact how do we fix these things because i'm not just talking about um out where i live but we do everybody pays property taxes but out there i mean we pay a premium. we all got our property tax bills this week <laughs> shoot me now but you know in certain areas you pay a premium or you know in certain uh I don't know. Maybe it, yeah, it is a premium. I'm just gonna say it. you pay Some a premium. Areas you pay you pay more. You pay TIF, my, right? My you property, pay more. my property taxes hit an all time high. I was really excited. That is that I is a like, level you do the? not want to strive for. Yeah. Yeah. It crossed over a threshold that I've always like. Oh God, never cross this threshold. <sighs> kind of like your threshold over. for fifty dollars shoes. Yes, you crossed I, over that. Yes, I had yeah. to. So I had to do this too. Uh, before we segue into the next thing, Black Cat, what do you do if you're like driving the Black Cat crosses? I don't know, same thing, take, try to take it home. Yeah, we love animals. So this morning I was on 8th Street, which is gonna lead me into our next discussion, and I'm, I'm on 8th Street heading to the office and a black cat walked out, and what it usually does, I took the next street over, drove around, and then Why? went up. Oh, you're that guy? You're I'm superstitious? Not, I'm not gonna let that, I'm not, no, when it comes to cats, yeah, I'm not gonna let that cat ruin my entire day, week, month I'm life. I'm not superstitious. So no, I drove really around you're superstitious. a block. I'm not superstitious. I just drove a block around. I'm a little stitious. Went up. Just a little stitious? I'm a little yeah. stitious. So I just, so. But then I went, and then I'm on 8th Street, and then I was checking out the new development, the new multi-million dollar development going up there, and saw that uh, there was still some stuff there, but nobody was there this morning when I was coming through there at 6.15ish or whatever, but- He was on his walk. You spent some time there. I did. Apparently. So you're talking about, okay, so you, t you talked about the multi-million dollar development, and then you said there was some stuff there. The stuff is not actually at the development. No, it's, it's next to the development. Door. Yes, it's next to the development. And the it Gatorade, to the someone. chairs, the stuff, yeah, the tent, the tarp. who yeah. Brittany was, uh, had a conversation with. Right. Yeah, I stopped just to chat and figure out what was going on. I mean, I was told about the story be through like some of my favorite gas station attendants yeah. at Phoenix. Yeah. And you know, the story, I wanted to get firsthand from him and get from, you know, I don't know, see what he had to say. Sure. Now, obviously it is a little difficult to understand what he has to say. So, so there's some um, communication issues because of Drugs, alcohol, Drugs, his alcohol, past, alcohol, hard living. Yes. Yeah, yeah, teeth? Yeah. Does he have a teeth or no? Um, not, no. Okay. I don't think so. That also hurts, the okay. addiction. I looked him up. Yeah. I don't really know uh, if I want to even say, like, put his name That's out there. Fine. There no. are some people that, I mean, he, he's all over Facebook right now, and people think they're helping him out, I think, by doing this GoFundMe and stuff like that, but I don't think that that's the answer. Um, I think I don't have the answer, but I have a lot of questions now. Yeah, but you've got you've got these developers who are sinking millions of dollars into this new complex, mm -hmm. and you mind already, you, they got a million. They got too. they did get city assistance, yes, but they're putting a lot of their own money in there. Mm -hmm. And you had one alderman who already referred to that area as the ghetto, and then so they're putting up these really you know nice new high end apartments, whatever. And then you've got this guy there with all of his stuff. Now, and that was new. That only happened after they started building that. Uh, no, he's been he has, out of there for a while. They've had a lot of people in that area because it's it got more noticeable. I had noticed from, it, and yeah. I go there. You know, you know, we'll all hang Notice. out to spring to uh, scoreboard yeah. a couple yeah. times a month or whatever. And but I hadn't noticed it. But my thing is, and it's like you know, he can't 
if it's somebody's property, he can't be there. It's just, exactly. and it's just like, you know, when the lady spoke and wanted to keep her shrine to her child, her, her son who was killed away, yeah. at 30th and uh, 36th and, and 30th, 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 30th Main. Main. Mm -hmm. We have cemeteries and memorials for a reason. If we let every person who lost somebody on an accident throw up stuff everywhere, what would that look like? It's yeah. just like that with this gentleman wanting to park his stuff there. But you, you just know what we don't can't have? do it. What don't we have? We don't have a an place answer. to put them. We don't That's have an answer true. For an answer. You know, yeah. the Salvation Army built a really nice gym, but they haven't built enough homeless. They have not built enough yeah, our, of a shelter. They shelter, do not have enough rooms for people to do this sort of thing. Our shelter has room for 16 people. And yes. I don't know the last study that was done in Quincy um, saying how many people are currently homeless. I, I know that's probably a difficult number to get, but if I think we probably need to figure that out. I think we can also see it with our own eyes. Sure. Like yeah. in the last year and a half, this it's has gone become- up. Yeah. And I'm sure it has to do with, you know, the shutdown of the hotel right. and things like yeah. that. And it was the winter, so we're not seeing them as much. Now we're seeing them. Yeah. Just the other day on my drive to work here, there was another younger man, like, standing outside um, of the Dollar General with a lot of his possessions. And the police were surrounding him, I'm sure, asking him to leave. I don't know. I'm making the assumption. Sure. But um, this isn't just One Walter, yeah. you know. And I do think, we were talking about this earlier, if Walter were... Oh man, I just I'm like yeah, I was gonna say. Well, okay. everyone knows we're who just gonna Walter call him Walter. Is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not okay. gonna say. What it might be Cronkite. Yeah, yeah don't you don't know. Anyway, anyway, but if Walter was 20 years younger, he had a cleaner record. I don't know. He is a veteran, yeah. um, but I think he has a little bit of a violent past, so that might be probably why the veterans home won't take him. Yeah. Um, if he was more of a poster child for this, I think we wouldn't ignore the situation as much. I feel yeah. like we are ignoring this situation. And like you said, we're, you know, developing this area and sinking million, a million of tax dollars into- But also there's, I mean, there's private, there's a, there's a lot totally of private understand. money going in there too. And, so. um, well, but I think it- But instead of that, like maybe that million or something, we've got to address this problem. Yeah, we gotta. And it's not just, okay, so of course, homeless veterans, they are, we owe, we owe them. I don't, violent or not, there ha we have to have, we have to have an answer to it and it can't just be to ignore it. But not only that, but like the Jason Priest of the world. Or yeah, just take the veteran off it's, the table. Yeah, and young, anybody, younger people. anybody who is struggling to find somewhere to live doesn't necessarily um, belong in jail because it's, you know, they're, they haven't done anything quote unquote wrong. Camping in a tent on someone else's property is a fancy way of saying you've, you're trespassing. You know, you're yeah, trespassing, right. and that is a, a squatting. I mean, there's all kinds right. of yeah. No, I'm pretty sure trespassing is like a a punishable offense through. Sure. But oh. you've got, but you've got. So the, you're saying they should like he should technically, he technically should, should be, be arrested. In jail. Yeah. But you've got, you know, or you've got the vets home. Yeah. We're just sinking $250 million into new housing facilities at the vets home. Again, I mentioned the Salvation Army earlier. I will remember when the welcome in shut down and we were, oh, we're going to put these people in the city, cleaned out some building to put them in. And I suggested, well, why don't we put them in the Croc Center? And, you know, it's, but it's, but they, oh, we can't do that. Well, you're the Salvation Army. Yeah. Put them in, I mean, turn, shut down your gym and your basketball courts and your volleyball courts for a few days, put up some cots yeah. and put these people up. Yeah. That was a crisis situation. They did not address it. Yeah. And the city, addressed it so I mean, and it's animals, a band-aid everything is a band-aid the animals we, were treated better than the humans in that situation i yeah. mean the animals had somewhere to go I mean, we ended up shipping those most of those folks to the hannibal inn yeah and then they came back they came after back. they realized that this wasn't you know i think they thought that they were being taken care of in hannibal and now they're back and now they're two other hotels here in town that are so, being yeah that, that are, are being, getting the brunt of yeah. them yes yeah. from what we understand and like, yeah, okay, so that, it, are we gonna shut down two more hotels because of this situation or are we going to start sinking I mean, money I can tell into you, this, yeah. the, the issue? No, I don't wanna spend my tax dollars on this issue, but at the same time, it's not getting any better. But we're talking about, you know, the, the housing situation, this is what we're talking about, that there's not enough, ho there's not enough ho affordable housing and there's not enough non, I mean, there's just not, in. we're not, this is part of that housing problem oh, that we've all talked yeah. about. It is, but. But do we think that even with affordable housing that Walter would go, that he would have a place? Or does he just not want to, I mean, you know what I mean? Like True. there has to be some, first of all, everybody has a story. We probably yeah. should get to know, you know, a little bit about the story and figure out what, what well, Brittany the- Brittany tried and Walter yelled at her. Well, that's because he has some issues, which we also don't have resources for. Yes. True, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So it's a bigger, it, 
it's not an easy there's, no there's not a one off solution there's but, no place in town that deals with drug and mental issues no i don't think there's anywhere in the state since they've shut down all of the state run or federal run or whatever no state run like hospitals like mental yeah. institutions well, yeah that's what i was saying but collectively together yeah so there are places but to do that together yeah and for people without resources so yeah. we are going to see more, more and, and more, more and more, more. Yeah. Yeah. and until we i don't know i don't know the solution but i will say the solution is not calling the police and then the police don't do anything i yeah. mean for reasons because maybe they don't know um what the, the rules are the rule yeah well, we gotta have they, the rule they, they, they well, do. i don't no, know it's just they do it's a fine line and again you you want to I, I believe the police would like to be compassionate in this situation. Absolutely. So what do you do? What do you do with this guy? And it's like, hey, I don't want him on property. Got to get him off my property. He's got to go somewhere else. And I don't know where that, nobody knows where that somewhere else is. That's the problem. I think And it's need... also a private and city property thing too. Yeah. So at one point in time, he was on city property on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And when you're on city property and if the city wants to have you removed, the police will go there. They will give you an issue, a ticket saying that you have to leave within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then yes, you, you can technically be arrested and removed. He moved what was left of his stuff or the stuff that people then went to give him because his stuff was taken away by um, the city. But put away and he was told that he can he can come get pick it, it up when he, can he has get it. somewhere to go um yeah. but that you know that really upset him because he said this has happened five times which it's like well yeah um so anyway he moved north now onto the private property yeah and now that it's on private property and who that's, owns that i believe it's well it's kind of in the process of a transition well okay. the, there's the car wash that the vial the vials own family, it. yeah and the, family okay. owns out of payson and then of course you've got the development next door that's the uh Holschlag wallbrink development so you've got those at that area all right there and again these these guys are trying to you know develop this make it you know gentrification is kind of a bad word but still they're trying to make it nicer Sounds and I've, no, I've also noticed that there's also a couple of the other properties to the east that have now popped on to the market some yeah. of the businesses now yeah. like and and so i think they're trying to hey how can we sell out and how can we let people buy our buildings yeah. to put other things in possibly as a part of this so we have people who are seeing this as an opportunity yeah. we have people who believe in this area who don't think it's a ghetto people who believe yes we can we can do this and You've got again. You've got this. I know you got the soup kitchen right there, and it so, serves yeah, what are you a gonna good and noble purpose. But I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. But, I mean, it's they're doing their job, and you're going to have that clientele is going to be there. So if you're want, if you want to buy one of these nice high end apartments or whatever, you know, and and I know they're they say they're they're selling pretty well. They're doing they're they're. I just want to understand they're doing really well with them, but still. You know, and I think it's. I, I think we can all. You want to be there, great, but you know, right exist. now you've got to. Every unless, time unless somebody, I was there, I visited Walter twice, and every time I was there, there were people lined oh, up. Sure. Yeah, you and know what though? I think it's because now it's so. It's a thing. Because it's warm. It's a because thing. what's a thing? The soup kitchen has always been no, like no, no, that. No, no, Walter. Oh. Like oh, Walter's a thing. I'm not saying it's exploitation. Walter likes to throw. Walter likes to throw parties. He likes okay. to have people, and then there are more people and more people. Yeah. I know this firsthand. I've had experiences with Walter. This is yeah. kind of like what brought what started this up it. because Walter actually kind of camped outside my house for a while. Mm. And um, this was- So y'all's his buddies. Walter's yeah. a dozen other guys. So yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, geez. There, so it was an issue because as much as maybe Walter's a great guy, I don't want Walter being like, hey, I see you no. to my see little girl, yeah. you know? No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. And, can't have that. And it's no. like, um, Walter, you've got to go. You You've got to go um there was you know organic ways of making it happen and yes by that i mean like you I did what you had to do fish fish chum <laughs> but i think it's so i think as far as the location uh the soup kitchen and the duplexes or whatever they are can exist they can coexist sure um the duplexes in walter probably cannot because no. there has to be but there has to be a solution and it doesn't necessarily have to be put on the city or the law enforcement. Uh, I don't really know who it goes on outside of the community. We have to come up with some answers for people who don't have anywhere to go. 
Yeah. Well, regardless of the reason, there's, you have to there have There does somewhere have to for, be an immediate be solution yeah. because... Now, did, does he... So is the Salvation Army aware? And do they have almost like an advocate or facilitator who would go and talk to him and say, we have... I don't know. Right now, you? he had um, an advocate there, but she wanted to be remade, you know, anonymous. anonymous. And we don't know who she was with. She was by herself. She okay. helps people by herself is what she said. She advocates for um, okay. homeless. And she said so she's, she's not been doing associated this. with nope. any nope. organization. Nope. And she's been doing this for five years. She says it's been growing and growing. She's known Walter for obviously a long sure, time. Sure. He's a returning customer. Um, but that's what I mean. Some people want to be, they want, they don't want you know, to adhere to society norms, societal norms. They don't want a job. But they don't know if they can get a job. They're I think there health. has They're... to be mental health and drugs involved. I don't yeah. really think, we had this argument, I had this argument with uh, a friend of mine last night and he argued that no, that's not right. Like, it's not always mental illness or drugs. For, not always. I'm not saying not always, but tell me how but many people, when it is. how many people want to shit in a bucket on somebody else's property and they're just totally there. They're yeah. totally with it. Right. No, 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 I can't even do that in a campground. So, yeah, um, and I'm not even totally with it, but uh, I can't even do that in your easement. Right. No, <laughs> nobody would take care of well, it if I did. I, maybe, maybe. maybe that's what we're going to start doing. <laughs> you know, but so, yeah, keep I the cats away. I don't it maybe no, they roll in it. Yeah, they just eat it. Yeah, dogs <laughs> anyway, would eat it. Dogs would roll yeah, in right? it. Ugh. But uh, that's disgusting. Ding. Next subject. Yeah, we need like a oh. we need a chime or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, what do you do with I, I don't know. There's not a there's not a one off thing. I think the Salvation Army requires um, requires everybody who's staying there to be actively looking for employment. And we know that Walter is a veteran and doesn't necessarily need that. But it, there's a VA hospital or a VA something out where Best Buy used to be, right? Isn't that it's still a, a VA it's clinic? A, it's a clinic, and it's a private clinic, right? No, it's veterans. It's veterans. VA. It's government. So maybe we need to pull for. And I'm I'm not again. I'm not super stoked about having the government involved. But when it comes to a veteran, they probably should be and maybe the the va place out there needs to have some temporary shelter for veterans okay well, outside veterans though because there's lots well of outside veterans then right. we have to come up with a different approach but i think veterans number one deserve agreed they deserve a yep. little bit of help from mm -hmm. our government right yes I mean, they stood up and from us yes. yeah and from us so if the va clinic could have just even a few beds for veterans to go and help them get the resources they need, whether it's mental health or, um, but again, just we've a got a, a veteran's home right here that's got. They, can, they I can't, don't think they can have a violent history. <sighs> Next, also, the police. Oh uh, well, never mind. Well, they go need on. to. I mean, but then I it's like know, after he's some, but after he's at this home for so long, where does he needs to go? Be does he just get ushered out of town because we can't have that here? I, agree. I mean, yeah. As you much don't as I want to be compassionate. Can't you have a, but again, okay, well, can't the veterans home have a, okay, you've got a bad record, but we're going to give you a chance. And then if you screw up, then you're gone. Something okay, but like what that. Outside I don't veterans know. is what I keep saying. Um, the reason oh, I keep right, saying it right. is yes, because yes. the drug epidemic yeah. is huge. It's insane. And yeah. usually the drug with the drugs, then comes the mental illness. It's yeah. kind mm -hmm. of, is somehow. There's a digression then, there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So no, like uh, the yeah. biggest thing is there's a huge drug issue and it's turning into the point where people are now on the streets and I feel like we're just not addressing it's, it's this. It's because there's, oh. how do you, where do you start? Like, but where do you start? I don't know. I mean, it's just, I guess a, just keep doing this. No, but I think it's but not, no, okay. but I think like with Walter and this is what I was saying, because now it's, it's known and people are, um, and I'm not even going to say this, but what I'm thinking is, yeah, I am going to say it. Yeah, I think because I it's because it's trendy mm -hmm. that people are helping him. Mm -hmm. But what happens when it's not trendy anymore and he's still there and everybody's kind of like, what do we do? Well, then everybody has this like pat themselves on the back. I helped yep. in a certain way. And it's almost exploitation because you're posting it on Facebook and, you know, you're you're bringing attention to it, but is it for him or is it for you? And then what about Fred, who's not a veteran? And what about Joan, mm -hmm. who's not well, a veteran? What about six months about from whoever? now when, yes. we, when he's you know, he might still be there or be somewhere else. And we're, we've just kind of given up on the issue because the nobody Washington knows Park where to gazebo. take it. Yeah. But taking baths in the fountain. Yeah. And Actually, you Walter, Walter and I, we used to jam out at blues. I've seen him there yeah, many, many times. Too. And you can't encourage it because that's how places like Philadelphia and LA or the Exactly. What's Venice Beach San Francisco. or what? Exactly. Yeah, San Francisco, how they become, which has become a how they are, and then it just the drugs the compound, but and ignoring and it and yeah. allowing it to it's happen is going to it. also make yeah. it happen. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think 
instead, like when people are like, why would we want a facility that would incur, you know, it's like, well. So what about like recovery resources and think people that have um, experience with, we need to get a privatized and a government entity along with like recovery resources to work together or transitions something I don't really know. to say okay this in our experiences this is what works best or we have done this in the past with people who don't want to work who are on drugs who are veterans there has to be somebody who knows even a, the right. first step right mm -hmm. i don't know what that is i mean I, honestly my heart bleeds for anybody that i feel like isn't living the life that i think they should live but Walter's but, loving life. See, that's what I mean. But then again, it's like, is he? I mean, that's what yeah, he tells me. Yeah. He said, he said that God did this for him. There you go. For him, not to him. For him. For him were his words. He's very positive. Okay. That's great. Until he gets violent. Exactly. Right. And then it's like, what do you do? But, what do you do with them? Just not trying to compare the, the cats to the homeless, but if we keep ignoring, yeah, then you're going to you. have Walter in We're your easement. Cats taking Walter. No, there, but like yeah. what I'm saying is these I these long these you long know? grass areas. Yeah. that's where they're going to start camping out and things. I mean, they already do. But I always thought, and this is uh, this is coming from a person who's never experienced homelessness or anything close to it. But I always wonder if I were homeless and didn't want you know, help from society or mm -hmm. from government or anything else. And I just wanted to kind of be a nomad. I don't think it would be in Quincy. And I think if I didn't have anything else to do, but be I think that's homeless, why most people go to the coast. Yeah, yeah you I would go to, you I go to someplace where it's warm way. all the time. Yeah, I would so make least, my I'm way. not gonna freeze. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to freeze. I might yeah. be hungry, but I can try to like eat some stuff off some trees so or do whatever, Venice, but at least I'm not gonna so freeze. So let's say if like Venice Beach isn't gonna do anything and they're kind of catering and, but. Wouldn't we say, Walter, we've heard this really cool place and it's on a beach. Uh, Ashley's homeless hey. train to the West hey. Coast. <laughs> hey, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying they're not welcome here, but if it's just gonna I, compound and create more cats and, and more agree. cats and more drugs and more things, then we probably should. Um, or Mar-a-Lago, we could send them to Cal Florida too. Ah, they go to Mar-a-Lago, that'd be go. great. And this sound, okay, place. this is gonna sound really sheltered. I was talking, when I was talking to everyone about this, um, I did say like, and I hope this doesn't sound, but what, I grew up in Quincy my whole life. And I think the first time I saw a homeless person was when I was like five or six and I went to St. Louis and I had to ask my yeah. parents, you know, mm -hmm. what is what is going on? What's that situation? Mm -hmm. um, I've explained that to my daughter in Quincy, mm -hmm. you know, when she was, I guess I don't know. It was. It's just been recently. I feel yeah. like. Right. You know. Plus, also the homeless here. You see them. They're not. I mean, it's not like going to Springfield or St. Louis or somewhere where they're like there on the corner with the signs or they're. I mean, when I but worked in Springfield, yes, could be. Well, well I, we already have like panhandlers and stuff, but they're different than homeless people. Right? I worked at the building across from the old state capitol, and I'd walk to jimmy john's or subway to grab lunch or whatever and every day you'd see the same two or three guys on the corner hey i said and then you know i'd say i'm gonna get a sand i'm gonna get a sandwich you want half you i'm gonna get a if i get a, a foot long do you want half yeah awesome. oh, i need money i need money well i'm gonna give you a sandwich well, there's a difference and then every once in a while the white guy would take a sandwich yeah, which oh, yeah. is good see, that's like, what good. i mean there's a difference between panhandlers who are yeah. doing it for a job and people who are homeless who actually are in need yeah and to distinguish and the bread, the you get that Dale is, bread at uh Jimmy John's like 50 yeah. cents is like here you go yeah I mean it's something I yeah. remember we always dropped off our like leftovers just we went to Chicago recently and obviously when you're on a trip you're not taking your leftovers yeah, yeah, with yeah, yeah. you so mm -hmm. I mean it was pretty easy to just drop off sure. your leftovers pretty quickly um and yeah I don't know it's food I it's did not but much. I also learned this because I was in if New you Orleans tell me they resell the food I'm gonna get so mad no no no, no. I was in New Orleans and we went to a nice steakhouse and I couldn't eat all mine and I gave it to uh, a gentleman, but there were multiple people around and he was like, I can't take that here <gasps> because he was gonna get his that ass kicked. so yeah. crazy. You know what I mean? So then it's like, well, I can meet you over there, but oh then are you gonna God. shank me for more than my food? You know what I mean? So yeah. as much as you wanna help, yeah. some people don't wanna be helped. Mm -hmm. Some people don't know how, some people don't know how, if some people don't know what it, what help would look like in there. You know what I mean? So if you said, Walter, how could we help you? Well, like well, you said, I, he's I, so I, happy. He doesn't, he doesn't really want anything He doesn't right want now. any help. So how do you do that outside of say, I know that Venice Beach has been looking for. <laughs> 
I, is that so yeah. shitty? Yeah. But no, I agree. I I agree. I I'll yeah. be your conductor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the if answer. If they pledge to vote for a certain person, maybe mar a lagos not, not not a bad option. And when I'm bringing this up, um, people would ask, "Well, Brittany, then what's what's your solution? What's not your, your job to have the That's solution? That's not my jo- like. No. That was I'm getting like. I it's I asked the questions when people, yeah, to it's get it's some our job to ask answers. Questions. It is. Not, yeah, it is. No. I always say to people, don't bring me a, a crappy. Don't bring me so many problems and no solutions. This one is a little different because there just isn't a. But, there's not a. But our there's role not an is also one. to ask the questions. Yes. Our oh, I mean us as to, yes. us. Yes, but I'm, I'm saying us in like, our muddy yeah. river realm. Like I, with my girls, about. I'm like problem solve. <laughs> yeah, problem yeah. solve, girls, because yep. I'm not doing it for you. Yeah. And I also don't have all the answers. This is yeah. why I'm asking the question. Well, I think, and it is important to bring it up and it is important to bring light to the situation, which is why I think uh, it's kind of cool that people are paying attention to him because mm-hmm. it does bring about a bigger issue, which is what are we going to do? The problem is there's a fine line between exploitation, moral narcissism, and actually trying to help. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you can't help unless you know the entire story. Mm-hmm. And you have resources. The resources is the biggest thing. Yeah. I, I, you know, when I extended my help, it kind of sucked because I don't have these resources. Yeah. But. I, and I don't know that Quincy has those resources. But you're also and willing I think to do that's something. where we are. I mean, it can, yeah. you can't do yeah. much, but you can do something. It's like something. just kind of the yeah. way it is. And that's, yeah. you know, and again, anybody who donates anything they can of right. their time, talent, treasure, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a huge amount, but if it's what you can, then right. that's what also, matters. Also, I think when you're talking to Mela about this, this, is another way you can help because, and I'm not saying what I'm doing is, you know, I'm not some kind of hero for doing this, but when my kids see it, I just kind of explain rather than shirk it off like, oh, he's lazy, does it what nobody wants to work anymore, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, everybody has a different circumstance. Mm-hmm. Everybody and has we, a story. Everybody has a story. Everybody has a circumstance. And um, do your best to either help where you can, like you mm-hmm. said, or at least don't judge as thinking mm-hmm. that you know what's going on and just, you know, look down on people like that because you honestly just never know. Plus, it's, it's a, a disease. Yeah. I mean, mental illness and drug addiction is a disease. Yeah. I know it's... It's not talked about enough either. Yeah. Yeah. No, I... I And I think, again, it comes down to, it's not just homelessness. It's all of it that is such a big problem. Nobody knows how to fix it. So there's no other... There's no... Nothing else to do but to ignore it. Yeah. Or hope that somebody else tackles the problem. And I don't think that there is somebody else to tackle it. It has to be people who who know, but there has to be, and this is where the city could get involved. They could create, they could facilitate different resources for Walter and start small yeah. and say, here's what we've done in the past with these, you know, kind of situations or circumstances and move that direction. Not that the city has to own it, but just facilitate it so mm-hmm. that we can take care of it because it is our city. Yeah. Right. So I would like to know, and I don't know the answer to this one. Everyone is talking about the safety act. If this is going to change anything. Oh, the whole trespassing thing. That's Um, a good question. Yeah, I didn't ask that one on my source when I had my source. We'll find out shortly, I think so. But uh, no, I think that anyway, it's a great discussion. And again, I think that, again, we all want we all want what's best for everybody. We all want to help people. Karen. Mm Care, that is. She, she just took a Karen. sip of Karen. I'm not a fan of Karen. <laughs> not a fan of Karen. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, we have other we have other options. Okay. So, but anyway, we're going to wrap this Sorry. up. And thank you, uh, ladies. I will not be here next week. It will be you, maybe Frankie, if he's not working, and David next okay. week. Um, you and I are going to. Well, you'll be. We're not going to the same place, but I'm going to go play fantasy stress, uh, simulated baseball for a few days. I was so. like, fantasy stress. Fantasy. Baseball. What? Baseball. It's baseball. Yeah. That's what. That's what they call it. It's baseball. It's okay. yeah. So anyway, thanks uh, Thank for you. watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah. Bye. That was a good discussion. I wanted to bring up the damn shirt. In the front row, kicking back, old school trash like damn. Can't get enough of this more like I don't even know where I am. Ooh, baby, get hyped to the beat. Let's go, cause this is our jam. This is our jam. Let's go. No, no.